What's going on, my people, and welcome back to Is Rock's Movie Reviews, where we discuss nothing but the best topics here when it comes to movies, shows, and things that I find intriguing. And we're gonna finish where we left off. If you don't know, if you're new to this video, please pause it and go back to my prior reviews. We're gonna be discussing Power, the final season of this legendary, legendary show. Um, we discussed Power season one through five, and the show has been amazing. You know, they introduced us to uh, our main antagonist, protagonist, depending on how you look at, look at it. Uh, Omari Hardwick stars here as James Ghost Patrick. Um, we have Notori Norton as Tasha St. Patrick, who plays his wife, uh, Joseph Sikora. It's Tommy Egan. These are pivotal, pivotal roles in this show. And um, man, what can I say? Uh, for a finale, this blew my mind. Um, without really getting into spoiler territory, I'm not gonna mess it up for you just in case you haven't seen the final season. Uh, this final season recapped everything and I felt like it tied up the series in a knot and left us into space. Um, this left us with a lot of questions in mind that we're gonna we're not um, gonna get answers to uh, until the future projects continue to line up and come out. Uh, this uh, final season, final episode, led to spoiler alert, to spinoffs, as we got a spinoff for Kanan. We got a spinoff for Tyreek and the continuity of this franchise. We're getting one for uh, Lorraine Tate's character, Councilman. Uh, we get one from Tommy. And uh, I think uh, that's it for now, but um, that's a lot, you know, to be, uh, to be looking forward to. And uh, we get into this season, uh, Power season six picks up where James, motherfucking ghost, St. Patrick, uh, seeking vengeance on his, you know, daughter who lost her life due to her brother, um, was murdered by a cop that had her some relation. If you guys didn't see Kanan, his backstory, he also has a show, and I'm gonna be reviewing that show shortly, um, where you see you got introduced to a police officer named Jukebox who uh, wasn't the best cop, you know? And her partner ends up basically killing Arena because uh, they couldn't get to Tariq. And his former drug partner and brother in arms, which is Tommy and Kanan, uh, must pay for the ultimate betrayal in this one. Um, this is crazy, leading up to the season, you see Tyreek's true colors. Uh, after being mentored and being guided by none other than 50 himself, the Kanan character ends up setting him up. He's murdered by police officers in a shootout. He tries to set up his father. Uh, Proctor ends up dying uh, at the hands of Tommy, who just terminated his ass, literally like the Terminator. Um, and you see a lot of things transpire in this. You know, rocks at his core, ghost, with the cruelties of those he once called family. Um, he devotes himself to one notion, me. It's about him. Success is the best revenge. And he resorts to this to the utmost degree. You know, kudos to him. Um, with all the intentions of getting both notoriety, uh, famous, uh, success, but he continues to rise, right? Uh, he aims to get even with Tommy, uh, to get the Queen's Child Project built to consecrate Raina's legacy, um, and finally achieve a thriving, legitimate lifestyle, because that's what he's been longing since season one. With no criminal strings attached, he wants to do it the right way. He tries to line himself up with the right people. Ghost needs to rest satisfaction and happiness from this world by any means necessary um, is the most dangerous 
um, aspect he's ever faced. Right? As the feds grow closer and closer to convicting him, Ghost must remain vigilant towards those wanting to take him down for his past criminal enterprises. And they get really, really close. And this, if you thought the last few episodes of last season, three or four loop, this finale throws you in for a loop. You know, some things you don't expect, some things maybe you do expect. But if you pay attention to the episode closely, you're going to see exactly what happens. And man, the season tied up so many loose ends for me. It basically put me in a loop because Ghost was one of my favorite characters. I just love the way he portrays all sides to his character as a father, as a, his relationship with Tariq gets full-fledged in this, how he is as a mentor to certain people, how he started as a mentor to Dre, then became an enemy, how he resourced to his businesses. Um, he was just a well thought out character. And kudos to Mari Hardwick, because I don't think nobody could have played him. Um, I was reading something about how 50 Cent was supposed to portray um, Ghost, but he didn't see himself portraying him. And they got Omari, who stood the test of time, and this role was meant for him. Uh, Joseph Sakura has his right-hand man, basically, throughout the series. You know, whether they had beef or not, awesome. I don't think you could have paid anybody to play this character like he did with that bravado and that, that, that roughness. And it comes off real, does it come off fake? Um, and finally, we get to the side characters, Latasha, Tori Norton, phenomenal job. And then you get to her character where, spoiler alert, but you see what she goes through, you know, with Silver, her lawyer dying by the hands of Ghost, her killing her best friend in order to save her son. This was crazy. And then ultimately, the question in this season is, is Ghost dead? Did he really die when he was shot off that balcony? Who shot him? Why would they shoot him? And did his past come back to haunt him? Right? Did those chickens roost and come back? That's what we left with this. The season was the ultimate finale and all finales because there leaves so many open question marks that we have to see the future and to see what happens. And finally, what I liked about this episode, Ghost kind of knew what was coming because he had certain things lined up. He had his lawyer with certain paperwork. Even towards the ending of this, you see how Tommy ends up getting his car back. Crazy. Like, why would Ghost fix it for him after shooting it up, right? It was so ironic. So many things. And then you ask yourself, wow, was the beef between him real? Was it fake? Was he playing it for someone? Was it for an, a goal that's coming? Was it, it really fucks, it fucked me up. It fucked me up. Because the whole time I'm like, if I had an enemy, even though he was close to me, would I leave them anything in my will? And you know, do I even have a will at that point? Me being so young, like, you know, me fulfilling, trying to fulfill my promise, trying to fulfill my dream in this political world. The last thing I'm thinking, even though I have all this beef coming to me, is dying, especially at the hands of someone close. But uh, this, not only the season, but this series teaches you a lot when it comes to friends, family, money, the value of someone's time and worth. So, yeah, definitely worth the mention in this episode. Go check this out. Leave your comments. I look forward to this ongoing conversation leading up to Power Ghost Season 1 and 2. And there's so much to talk about. Don't want to spoil it yet, but, you know, get back at me as soon, as soon as you finish watching these series. I want to see what you think. And let me know what you want me to review down the line when it comes to this series. Okay? To the next one. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. And subscribe. Peace.